All right, everyone, your boy just got back home from the theaters, of course. <laughs> we saw that new My Hero Academia movie, Heroes Rising, and boy, do I got some stuff to say. By the way, um, this video is going to be super, super raw. We just going in. Like I said, the movie just ended maybe like 30 minutes ago. You know, this is this is off the dome from what I remember. First impressions, because originally I was going to do a video like this. Um, I know a lot of people wanted to, but I, I know a lot of people wanted to see my my uh, review, my thoughts, my first impressions on the movie because people are asking me if I'm going to see it because obviously, you know, if you've been uh, around the channel recently, you know, I react to My Hero Academia. We've been reacting to uh, the latest season, season four, and you know, the love and support on that has been just... It's been insane, man. Like, Jesus Christ, bro. Like, I can't believe it. You guys are amazing. So, before we even start, shout out to y'all. Y'all are just, god damn, y'all just kill it every time, man. But other than that, dude, um, you, uh, how I'm going to split it up is probably, um, I won't be talking about spoilers right away. Um, I'll leave a timestamp on the screen right here for when I do talk about spoilers because I feel like the review for this movie is kind of hard if I don't talk about specific plot points and and stuff that happens because the movie itself isn't really that complex in terms of a story like it's it's the story is pretty simple it's just like oh bad guy comes we must beat bad guy or else bad guy uh does bad things and that is bad so yeah i mean that's basically that's essentially the story i mean um you know i'm not like that's i'm not roasting it or anything that but you know it's, it's a basically it's a simple story but there's just a lot of stuff in it that you know needs to be talked about that needs to be you know uh you know like you know one by one i gotta talk about it so i i really got i got I really gotta talk about spoilers so i'll leave a timestamp on the screen uh for when i do that but you know um uh, uh before that we're just gonna be general talk general review i'll let you know if i liked it you know whether or not you should see it and you know stuff like that so did i like the movie yes i did like the movie a lot <laughs> i did like it um there's a lot of things that i really really love about this movie one is the animation holy shit bones god damn like the animation for this movie is so good it's so godlike man like literally it's probably the best my hero academia animated anything bro this blows anything out of the water in terms of like the my hero academia like this is animated better than the last movie animated better than any episode i've seen god damn that budget must have been high as fuck god damn the, the, the animators must have been working overtime or something man but animation was on god mode for this movie so bones did their damn thing 10 out of 10 for that bro um like i said before though um the plot it's pretty simple uh there's nothing really like too intricate or complex man uh the thing about this movie is I know, like, this is kind of like the ordeal that people have been saying. It's like, oh, don't watch this movie, Ivory. You know, you're going to get spoiled for stuff. Because, like, apparently this movie takes place, like, like during season five or something. Or, like, after season five. And if you guys don't know, we're on season four right now in the anime. So this takes place, you know, in the future, essentially. So, like, you know, there's a lot of plot points, a lot of stuff that's been going on that, you know, us anime-only watchers aren't really, you know, familiar with. And so, you know, there's... Uh, people have been saying like, oh, you're gonna get spoiled major and you know, I said fuck it I'm gonna watch the movie anyway um, There's no way that they would release a movie like this and like have like all these major spoilers in it and I was right There's really no Major spoilers where I'm like, oh god damn bro. Like I really just got spoiled with that Just like no, it's just like oh like there's certain things in the movie where I'm like, oh that hasn't been introduced yet But honestly, that'll probably be introduced soon. I mean, it's just like, oh, okay I mean, like, it's just, like, stuff like that. It's, like, little, little minor things, man. You know, it's just, like, it's nothing really, like, like, super major. Like, you'll probably, like, see it be like, oh, okay. Or, like, some people probably not, may not even notice it, honestly. Um, so that's, like, another thing. Um, also, I do have to say this, uh, before. Um, there was no screening. Oh, ugh, I shouldn't say that. So, how, I got my tickets for My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. I checked everything because I wanted to watch it in Japanese. And I checked it, and I'm like, okay, this, you know, they got the Japanese cast on the side, right? You know, it, it doesn't say dubbed on the side, so I'm like, okay, so it must be the original Japanese, you know, with the subtitles and stuff like that. I was fucking wrong, because I watched this movie in English, and 
I've never watched a single My Hero Academia episode in English before, man. So this was all new to me. I didn't even know. Like it was like the voices and everything, man. And um, so this was my first like dub experience for My Hero Academia. I've seen a little bit of clips, but I haven't really seen like a full fleshed out episode or, or movie with with the English. But um, my first experience with the dub for this movie. It's fucking good. <laughs> it's really good, honestly. Like, it's a really good English dub, man. There's a lot of people that I didn't know, you know, that were voicing stuff. Like Christopher uh, Sabat, he voices Vegeta, one of my favorite characters of all time. He voices All Might. I'm like, God damn. I'm like, okay, Christopher. I mean, Deku, you know, he sounds cool. Bakugo sounds cool. Uh, you know, uh, Todoroki. Like, everyone sounds really solid except the two people. I could not stand their voices, man. And this is no disrespect to the voice actors. These voice actors put in work upon work, and I can't disrespect their work at all. But, like, it's just, like, obviously, like, they probably had to choose this voice or something like that, man. Mineta and Suyu. Oh, my God, dude. I did not know they sounded like that. I just, I couldn't. Like, Suyu sounds like this. And, like, uh, and Mineta sounds like, like, he's like... Like, he got, like, a lisp or something, man. I'm just like, what the... F I, don't, I don't know, man. I, that, that was just, like, a little, like, tidbit where I'm like... I mean, it's not really the movie's fault. It's not really the voice actor's fault. It is what it is, man. I mean, it's just the English dub. I mean, it can't really knock it or anything. No disrespect, like I said before, but that's just, you know, one minor thing. Anyways, getting back on track. Um, the villain, the main villain for this movie... Oh, my God, dude. Like, I, I loved him. Like, he was... I, I wouldn't say that. He was cool. He was cool and all, but he kind of fell under that, like, villain trope thing where it's just, like, like, he he says, like, what his motives and plans are, but I'm like, you think, like, I swear I've heard this before in, like, 50,000 other anime, but it's just, like, his, his motives and stuff are pretty generic. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, they were like, okay, I mean, that's why you're doing it, I guess. Uh, his powers, though, his, his, his animation, his design are like super dope super super dope bro like when he was on the screen i was like this dude is a badass man i really really enjoyed him by the way another thing um about badassery bakugo this man showed the fuck up in this movie bro like literally i thought bakugo was the main character if i'm being honest man shit i uh, uh, midoriya is my favorite character in my hero academia but shit, I was like, damn, Bakugo. Bakugo was doing shit that I didn't even know he could do, man. Like, he was pulling out all the moves. He was finessing people, man. I was like, god damn. Yeah, Bakugo was definitely like a, a, a very, very, very big highlight uh, in this movie. And I will go, uh, I'm go I'll go more into spoilers uh, on what I think about uh, certain stuff that happened with Bakugo and, and Midoriya and stuff like that um but um i really loved also how uh the movie utilized everyone uh as one you know like everyone i feel like everyone had a very integral role in moving the plot along and moving the story like i didn't really feel like every anyone was just like there to be there like it really felt like everyone like had like a you know they had a role to play man like i really did enjoy that you know they were all using like teamwork and stuff like that and like i said before i really love when the class interacts with each other it's really dope to see that so i really did enjoy that a lot that's a definitely another highlight but other than that man like it's kind of hard to talk about it without going into spoilers um i would say this though um if you're you know uh familiar with my hero academia you're a fan of it definitely go watch this movie like no questions asked bro like, if you love my if you like my hero academia in any way shape or form go watch this movie I, I i'm just gonna tell it to you straight i don't gotta tell you why just go watch it um but uh if you aren't that familiar with it like if you aren't caught up or you maybe you just saw it and like oh i mean that like kind of looks cool i mean there's powers and stuff like that and people are fighting um i would say this uh you might have a little bit hard of a time trying to understand certain stuff that they talk about not the overall plot though like the plot of the movie like i said it's pretty simple like you will understand what's going on like it's it's it, you will understand but like because i went with my girlfriend uh to see uh the movie and um she's not familiar with my hero academia uh that much uh she actually had to like watch like a recap video to like you know like just like at least like understand a little bit what's going on and stuff like that but you know even when i was watching i was like there's no way that someone who hasn't watched this before 
will understand what's going on right now or will understand what they're talking about like there's there's stuff in there that's just like you will not understand um so i would say you can still watch it man like trust me man like they explain enough for you just to comprehend the main characters and you know what they're trying to accomplish and the main villains and what what they're trying to accomplish and you know why they're conflicting it, it's simple as that uh, you will understand that, but like when they bring stuff like, like when they talk about all for one and stuff like that, they're gonna be like, oh, oh, who, who's that? And you know, no, no moo and stuff like that. You know, they bring like a lot of, lot of stuff back, uh, which I feel like people who aren't familiar with the series, uh, they will not understand. But other than that, if you know, just the the core plot, that you, you, uh, you will get it. Um, other than that, guys, though, I think that's like, that's really it uh, for like non-spoilers if i'm being honest man i mean overall though the movie the movie is super dope man like i really loved it um i i liked the and like animation the character interaction that was super really really cool man it was super 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 dope bro like i can't get i have to talk about it in spoilers bro but the animation oh my god i can gush about it all day um but overall i would give this movie a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 ivory certified. <laughs> um, like I said, there's a lot of stuff that I loved. There's certain stuff where I'm like, uh, uh okay, you, I feel like you kind of pulled that one out of your ass, but it's, I, I'm gonna let it slide because it's anime, but, you know, there's, there's certain stuff that falls a little bit, you know, a little bit short, but, you know, it's still a solid movie. Definitely, this is, this was better than the last movie for sure, and I love the last movie, no disrespect to it, like, I love the last movie too, but, just this one just oh my god dude like they went like fucking sicko mode bro steroids on top of steroids for this movie um but other than that guys uh that's gonna be it for like just a general review uh eight out of ten definitely go see it um you know this is coming from a uh, uh, my hero academia fan man and you know i'm giving it i'm giving it to you straight man um so you know definitely go see it uh, you know, if you're, uh, clicking off the video now because you don't want to get spoiled, I totally understand that. Uh, other than that, just take care of yourself, man. You know, if you enjoy the movie, uh, make sure you let me know how you do enjoy it. But if you're sticking around, <laughs> let's get into these spoilers real quick right now, right? Okay, so first of all, though, first of all, can we talk about the ending? Can we just talk about the ending? Let's just get straight to it, right? The ending, man. The ending, I have so many feelings about the ending, bro. The ending is like... There was so much shit though, like, yo, like I felt like my fucking eyes were having an orgasm and the colors and, 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 you know, they were fighting nine and everything like that, bro. And just like, oh my God, dude, I was like, what the fuck is going on? So Deku and Bakugo, um, I, I really love that, like, how they did focus on them a little bit more, you know, how they had to like work together and stuff like that. I really liked that. And they were fighting nine and, um. I liked how I guess Bakugo was like Bakugo like a, got like a lot of screen time man like it was like I said before like it was kind of focused on on Bakugo a little bit more which I really loved um so that was really dope I, I don't honestly guys if we're being honest bro I don't even know about that whole Deku transfers one for all to Bakugo and and Deku goes like okay so okay so he transfers one for all to Bakugo, and Bakugo gets one for all, and he's able to go 100%, and Deku is also able to go 100%, and without Aerie on his back, uh, <laughs> and they both are able to do all the smashes and stuff like that, and Bakugo, his one for all form is, oh my god, that's it, that's, that shit is clean with like the explosions and stuff like that, that shit is dope. Um... But like I said, like, I didn't really, like, I felt like that was just a lot, bro. Like, you transferred one for all, and then, you know, you're able to do all this shit. And one, one thing I didn't get, Midoriya is breaking all his arms, bro. Like, he's using his fists, and his arms are, like, purple. And didn't he say, like, hey, you can't use your arms to that extent uh, no more, or else, you know, you may not be able to use them anymore. <laughs> he just fucking uses them like, again and again. I'm like, God damn, bro. So, but at the end of the movie, you know, we you see him waving. I mean, his hands are his hands are fine. I mean, I guess he got healed. Um, you know, Bakugo. I don't know what happened with the whole. It's just like, <laughs> so Bakugo didn't keep one for all because 
one for all just wanted to stay with with deku and why was deku able to go 100 why was bakugo able to go 100 like like there was a, like a lot of stuff where i'm like why why did that happen and another thing when nine was fighting um when nine when they came up with the plan uh for nine they're like oh you know nine he gets weak if he uses his quirks a lot so you know we'll just wear him down and you know they got to a point where nine you know he was worn down he was like oh you know i'm tired and shit you know but you know i i have to get through with a plan so he just gets angry and he gets stronger i'm like what what are these purple things on his back and I'm like th th that was the thing with nine like they didn't really explain that much of him like his whole plan was basically i just want like i want to create a new world order where you know you guys aren't look uh, we we people aren't looked down upon as like monsters and villains and stuff like that so that was basically his like motive it was like pretty generic but like he, he was like he had like a sick character design and stuff like that so i didn't really care uh his like his like underlings like mummy and slice and and chimera they were actually pretty cool i'm not gonna lie they were pretty cool uh mummy got absolutely obliterated though by bakugo like i that dude like fucking one shot at that man uh oh my god but <laughs> uh so who else uh i feel like todoroki got snubbed in this movie bro that man that man was doing nothing i'm sorry that man was doing nothing i mean i felt like todoroki this whole time was just blocking stuff with his ice i mean he did take out uh chimera i think chimera is the name of like the the, the bear uh monster he actually was really dope i actually liked his character design a lot too and he was really fucking strong um it, it would have been really cool to see him and kirishima go up against each other like one-on-one -on -one. that would have been a really cool thing to see but you know like i said before i love the teamwork that they had with just defeating each and every single underling uh tokoyami showed a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of love interest with mina because mina got hit uh by slice with like some of these uh by some of these uh what's it called whatever the fuck these things are called like her her hair shits she got hit so and, and, and tokiyami went super sad he's like no and then he had the dark thing and I'm like okay that was clean tokiyami that was clean dude and man dude like i don't know that one for all scene and stuff and like it's like one for all still wants to be with me and bakugo doesn't even remember anything and i don't know man i feel like that was just like ah uh, i don't know I don't know, man. I feel like that was just like it was a little, a little confusing, um, but like I mean that doesn't like take away from how great like the animation and the fight scene was. Like when they did like that that uh, Detroit smash into the air and they were like doubled and they look cool as fuck. Like they were like Super Saiyan two. Oh my god! Like that was so dope. Like I, I loved that a lot. Like that was a really, really cool scene. It was just like the it's just like okay. I gave Bakugo one for all, but Bakugo doesn't keep it because plot and you know I, I don't really know and stuff like that and also you know, like Midoriya He has like these like new things on his glove that haven't been introduced yet I mean I, like I said like that's one of like the spoilers But like he was able to do like the his ranged attack which just got introduced in the the previous episode So I kind of wasn't spoiled for that I'm like oh he just named it I'm like, that was basically the spoiler, like, oh, that, oh, we named it that, and he can flick his wrist now, uh, not flick his wrist, but flick his fingers and stuff like that, uh, that was dope, um, I still don't know how he was able to go 100%, though, I still, I, I, I don't understand that, uh, without Aerie, at least, uh, I don't understand that, <laughs> but, um, I guess we, let, let's slow it down a little bit, let's slow it down a little bit, so the overall plot of the story is basically Nine is a villain that has All For One's, uh, quirk, uh, or at least like a version of it or whatever and he is able to steal up to nine quirks hence the name nine I thought that was pretty clever um, So, you know, he has like a wider range of quirks already like he has like a fucking force field He has like laser beams. He has like this fucking Monster that comes out of his back or something like that like he can do like a lot of shit already and he can also see He can also see Quirks as well. Like I thought that was really cool. Like like when people use certain stuff. He's like, oh uh, Exploding quirk by Bakugo or like when Midoriya charges up. He's like, oh his power just increased You know, I saw that with his quirk. And I'm like, oh, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but basically He got like enhanced uh, by Shigaraki because 
uh he wants to you know have this world order thing so you know he's kind of doing what the yakuza did with overhaul he's like oh i'm gonna use shigaraki this is what i'm starting to follow i'm starting to think that shigaraki really is that man because you know yeah uh, overhaul said the same thing like oh i'm just gonna use the league of villains to get what i want look where he's at right now nine you know he gets fucked up at the end <laughs> um yeah he shigaraki actually actually kills nine he actually kills him at the end um and i just like i think shigaraki about to turn up I, I don't know what's i don't know what's in store for him bro but i feel like he's about to turn the fuck up but nine um like I, I keep getting sidetracked because like like i said this is raw i'm not no pro movie reviewer i'm just giving you my thoughts straight up you know right off rip but nine uh basically he wants to you know create this new world order and whatever so he's he can't use all of his quirks like efficiently because like he gets like tired like he like it'll start like hurting him because uh the side effect of like having all this nine quirks and stuff like that is that his cells are deteriorating slowly so he's essentially just dying so he needs a cell rejuvenation quirk i think that's what it's called or something along those lines um and uh where the the students are stationed they're stationed on nobu island i believe that's what it's called and they're basically like in replacement because like a hero there retired so they're kind of there as like a replacement and also just like to get some experience just doing like normal hero work helping the townsfolk out and stuff like that you know it's like it's kind of like slice of life stuff if i'm being honest uh so they're just doing random stuff like that um and you know deku and bakugo you know they meet these two kids um i think was a moharo moharu or, or or i know katsuma's the kid katsuma katsuma's the boy i think like koharu is like the the girl's name um and you know their brother and sister and basically their dad has the cell rejuvenation quirk and nine you know he goes to him and you know he he steals it from him and he's like you know i i achieved this and you know and like suddenly it like he you know he like fucking like seizes, seizes out and stuff like that and you know it's like oh i'm not compatible with it because like it's not my blood type and so you know he realizes that like oh quirks are hereditary and you know there was like a like a facetime call with his son and he's like oh okay i'm gonna go to his son because his son has the the blood type that i need so basically the overall uh plot is that nine is trying to get is trying to steal uh katsuma's quirk uh to basically be able to use all his nine quirks efficiently without you know being fatigued and stuff like that and you know basically it's up to us to stop him and do we do that i mean not at first we get our, we got our ass beat at first we get our ass absolutely obliterated at first bro like nine that man just fucks us up uh you know slice and mummy well mummy gets fucked up by baku if i'm being honest but uh you know chimera and and, and slice kind of messes up um that's like that i mean that's like kind of like the plot like like i said the plot is really simple like it's, it's kind of like oh they they get introduced they fuck us up we plan something they fuck us up again but at the end you know we have like uh you know one for all i give bakugo one for all i'm just like i i i don't know man and like i don't know i don't i don't understand where nine got all this power from because they didn't really flesh it out that much like he kind of just like i said like he kind of just got strong out of nowhere because like the whole point was them trying to wear him down because he gets tired after he uses his quirks for a while but like he just decided he's like no i'm going to achieve this plan and he just got stronger out of nowhere like he had like three whole forms like one he just took off his mask his long hair is flowing another form he's like flying in the sky he has like wings and shit i'm like what the fuck and like he's able to create these like vortexes of like energy i'm just like what the hell is going on man i mean it looks cool as shit but like wh wh where is this coming from where is this coming from you know but that's where it is bro like i mean that that's the stuff that i'm just pointing out that like i i, I really like um I, I mean another thing that i noticed is that is every, everyone looked the thick as hell <laughs> every, like i don't know like in some scenes momo and, and mina i'm like th yo they do not look like this normally bro y'all y'all th those proportions those proportions are kind of kind of huge man you know <laughs> so i mean that was just like another thing like i saw 
um man dude like they like i said uh, is it like is it for people that haven't seen my hero academia it, like i said it's it is kind of hard to say that because there's like a lot of stuff like they bring they bring up all for one a lot no uh they show like flashbacks a lot uh and on and like the recap that they sprinkle in isn't really that strong so you know you're like you'll probably like oh you'll know who like oh okay this guy's name is deku and he has a quirk that you know he punches stuff and you know it it's passed down from other quirk users that had the same quirk and it gets stronger each time like okay i understand that bakugo he can explode shit oh he looks cool you know stuff like that but man dude the movie the movie is solid but like i said the, the stuff that i just pointed out those are just some stuff that i'm like it just i mean i'm not like a stickler for this stuff i mean like i understand it's it's an anime it's just plot convenience but like i gotta point it out i mean that's why i didn't really give it a 10 out of 10 because i'm just like i've been talking for a long time i've been ranting about this movie it's a great ass movie guys you know if you haven't seen it i would definitely say give it a try um super super like clean ass animation and everything there's some certain anime stuff like oh anime tropes and stuff that you'll see uh you know like oh bad guy he just has like motives and stuff like that but he looks cool um but you know um there's some stuff that you know <laughs> is a little questionable but it's anime plot convenience whatever i still love it i still love my hero academia uh, you know eight out of ten um but guys you know my fucking throat is killing me now jesus christ um hope you guys did enjoy uh this video it's a bit of a long one <laughs> i know it's a bit of a long one um you know thank you so much if you've made it this far um but you know other than that dude just thank you guys so much for all the love and support recently i know i haven't been uploading that much recently but you know i just i've been doing behind the scenes stuff you know i've been just living life you know i've been preparing for certain stuff that's gonna happen you know in the near future so you know be prepared for that i'm not gonna go anywhere trust me but you know thank you guys so much for just always you know showing your support with all these videos and stuff like that man this like i said this is just a raw video how i'm feeling at the point you know uh not too much editing not too much uh not too much anything really dude i'm just you know i'm just i'm giving it to you straight man i feel like this is what you want you wanted me to give you straight to the you know you know you wanted me to give you my review of the movie this is what you get but anyways guys i've been talking way too damn much uh thank you guys so much for watching make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy and take care of yourself it's been your boy ivory peace